Today we're going to be making millions in no time and I'm going to be showing you guys towards the very end how to potentially make even 50 million per hour. Now the money making event is actually the mining fiesta and you can also look on the calendar to see when it's coming up. Now if you don't see it on the calendar don't worry because this method still works very well even when Mayor Cole isn't around. Now when I say method, I actually mean methods because there's multiple ways to go about this. And if you can take a moment to drop a like and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. It's completely free and well, hopefully if this video is gonna make you millions. Anyways, here we are. The mining fiesta has just begun, as you guys can see. But yeah, it's also right now 11 p.m. for me. So this means that it's gonna end at 4 a.m. for me. And I want you guys to take a prediction. How long do you guys think... I am going to stay awake. And if you're wondering how much mining XP do I have, we do have right now 13.2 million XP. And yes, our mining level is maxed out already. So we are not really in it for the XP, but rather the money. And I want to see where we can get those rare drops more frequently. Now, this used to be the best place where to be during mining festa, but this is no longer the case because I got even zero minerals during this whole time and endstone is pretty much worthless. So of course, we're heading down to the Dwarven Mines and at first we're gonna be mining Mithril and seeing, well, how much money we are going to be making with this. And we're actually gonna be using a Mithril Golem Pet during this time so we can get more Mithril Powder because, uh, well, it's time to work on my Heart of the Mountain tier. And definitely this mod is pretty amazing also to get mining XP because during one hour we managed to get about 1.1 million XP. And during this one hour, we managed to get quite a bit of mithril. In total, we sold it for about 2.3 million plus 700,000 from our sack. And then another 638,000 from the minerals. So that means in total, we made 3.7 million. Now, of course, this isn't the best method yet. But I decided to keep it going for another hour to see, well, how much further can we take it? Now during this time we did have Gone with the Wind passive event going on and I tried to actually use it quite a bit to my advantage so we can be a bit faster. Now interestingly enough at some point the servers updated and for some reasons my personal compactor stopped working so we had to actually manually turn it into Enchanted Mithril which definitely made it a bit slower and I wonder if this is related to some new update that's coming soon? Well I definitely hope so. But anyways, later I realized that it just cleared out and I just had to put it back in there. But anyways, after another hour, well, we managed to get about the same amount of XP, which was 1.15 million. Amazing, yes. And this time we actually managed to earn a little bit more money and more specifically, we made 4 million coins. Now keep in mind that all of this mining was happening during very late hours and uh, well how long did I actually stay awake? Well I actually ended up recording the very end of it. Alright so we have only 24 minutes left to go. It's 3.40am uh, so if you guys could take a moment to drop a like and subscribe for me staying awake this long. Oh yeah, that would mean a lot to me. <laughs> but anyways, now that's done, well, I actually decided to prepare myself for the next mining fiesta to show you guys the best way to do it in the future. So I ended up getting myself a pristine enchantment on my weapon. I went for pristine 4 because it was slightly cheaper and I don't have crazy much money. And then also we ended up getting fortune 4 which I didn't even know that existed and there is also even efficiency 10 which I didn't get my hands on because the auction house didn't have it. Now the setup that I'm using is definitely far from good but later I'll show you guys a budget setup that you could be using and also a very expensive setup so you can make literally... I think close to like 20 million per hour at least. Now anyways, I decided to actually finally use the tokens on my Heart of the Mountain tier 6, which I unlocked quite a few days ago, just never really got down to the mining. But anyways, finally we did it and uh, well, we were ready to go. Now the next mining fiesta actually started at 6 a.m. in the morning for me and I actually had alarm clock for 8 a.m. and I literally could not wake up and I ended up waking up close to 10 a.m. So when I got all nine, it was a little less than an hour left to go. So of course, I quickly went down to the Crystal Hollow. Now I found a pretty decent spot to mine rubies at. So I decided to just stay there and keep on mining rubies until the very end. And to be honest, this actually turned out to be pretty disastrous because 
Well, firstly, we got only about 500,000 XP, and secondly, the total amount of money was only 1.6 million now we also had some money in the sack and i think that's about 700,000 right here but definitely pretty disastrous results now i'm gonna tell you guys how to actually make it a lot better and i want to actually test it out later by myself as well and also we actually had a little bit more mithril and mineral that uh, we can sell actually right now and as you guys can see the buy price actually increased by quite a bit almost by 8,000 coins which is pretty good. So if you held on to your mineral, you actually made a little bit more. But there we go. So we just made another 1.6 million right there. And well, that was from earlier before when we were mining Mithril until 3.30 a.m. Now I went ahead and actually wanted to see what's the best budget setup after I actually finished this. And it turns out that the best way to potentially do it is by getting a armadillo pet alongside that full yog set. And of course, getting the gemstones on it. Now I actually found this on YouTube from V3SR. So hopefully this setup is actually pretty good and he actually ended up making about 500,000 in five minutes now getting the right setup is super important when you're actually doing the gemstone mining and that's why i actually focused on the mithril at first more since i simply haven't done enough gemstone mining to be good at it and to be honest i don't really like crystal hollows and i'm just avoiding that area at all costs my heart of the mountain isn't even tier 7 yet which is pretty unfortunate now the best setup to use is going to actually cost you i think close to 300 million total maybe even more but the armor set that you would want to use is a full diamond set. As you guys can see, each piece is about 30 million. So that's a combination of 120 million. And alongside that, you want to use 655. As you guys can see, the lowest price of that is, oh, it's actually 389 million at the moment, which is definitely up there. And I believe that they typically sell for around 300 million, but 655 is the best way to go. But as you guys can see, I mean, that's already a total of half a billion. Not only that, but you would also want to optimize your heart of the mountain because there is a way to do it just for the gemstones. But as I mentioned, I haven't really done any grind on this, so I can't really give you guys any advice but there are ways to optimize them for gemstone mining now i was looking back at the footage and we made actually at some point two million even more uh from the mithril so i think that was after i was finishing with mining but as you guys can see we have a lot of money to claim so let's quickly claim all here lovely 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 but anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed this and honestly i think i might try to grind out a little bit of crystal hollows so next time we're going to be prepared for the gemstone mining and we could potentially make a lot of money